Good day, my name is Ahmed Isaac, and I would just like to go through a installation which I have done uh, for EBS, which a lot of customers in South Africa are using. It's called the GL1 installation for Oracle EBS Release 12. Although there is a user manual, uh, which is 22 pages uh, big, I just thought, let me just make it a simplified process and make it a quick installation for you all. Okay, so who am I? Uh, my name is Ahmed Tissat. I've been fortunate to be around for a long time in the EBS suite. And I really enjoy uh, assisting uh, our EBS consultants in the different activities that we do in the EBS world. So I enjoy giving, making our life easier, enjoying work, being proactive, and improving the quality of our work. So here we go. Uh, this quick presentation is going to be on how to install the GL1 installation for Oracle release 12. Please remember, release 12. Okay, step one is, of course, you will have to go on to the GL1 website, uh, Excel for Apps website, and download the software. So you will see in the, there'll be two files. Um, there'll be um, the release 12 file, that we need to work or worry about because we're running on release 12.1.3, right? Uh, we are not doing 12.2. We will do 12.2 at a later stage, okay? So first of all is copy the file, that file, to your Apple top, all right? Uh, and then unzip it, all right? And once you unzip it, you'll have a folder called XXE4A. All right, so if you can go ahead and have a look there, cd dollar apple underscore tom cd xxe 4 a and there we go. There's the folder over there that will be created. So step one is done, All right? Step two is copy that directory there, uh, that folder there into your Java top, all right? So cp that to your Java top, cd to your Java top, and unzip the directory and then you will see under your Java top this is one thing that you need to see so under CD dollar Java underscore top under com right there will be a directory created Excel for it okay so there we go everything is in there all right the step then step three is the confirmation which those directories are there we have done the confirmation step four is as well the confirmation as well whether those directories are there as well step five right step five here is where it gets not tricky but you just have to watch what you do right you need to add the excel for apps into the customization for autoconfig so you need to go into cd fnd top admin template right Copy the Orion Web XML 1013 temp file, all right, to your custom folder. Okay, so if you can go there, all right, so once you're in there, you will see the Orion that file will be there, right? Copy this file right into your custom folder right once it's copied into your custom folder then you can vi the file and add all right and add uh, just copy and paste this from the document right but make sure you add it before the web and the Orion P app. So this is what you need to copy it there, right? It's clearly mentioned in the document as well. So if you can go through the document there, all right, so what I've done is I just narrowed down everything that needs to be done in the document. Installation. Okay, 
So there we go. That's what you need to copy into the folder, right? Once you copy that into, into the file, all right, you shut down your EBS environment. You then run auto config on your EBS environment on your apps here. Then in step eight, right, in step eight, you CD to your in-stop aura 1013, right, into that directory, and you VI the Orion web.xml file to make see that whether your customization reflect into your EBS files, and then you will verify that that has been updated. So let's go and do a quick verification. So you put this in a customization, but now let's go and see if it's updated after you run auto config. And after you run auto config, there's the file there. And you can see there it has been updated successfully. Okay, once that has been done, you then start your EBS and you verify. You may verify whether your Excel for Apps is working by putting your URL there. So you can see there I put in my URL and it verified that the Excel for Apps is working. Okay, perfect. Then step 10 is you then have to go into CD to the Java top, common, com Excel for apps and install directory. And you have to load, you have to load all the uh, forms into it, right? So you just run a script which they have. It asks for your apps password, server name, and uh, database port and apps password. And it will go and load every all the packages into your DB. All right, then you have to open up Toad or you can just use your SQL plus, set server output on and run these three commands, right, which will verify whether everything has been updated in the database. All right, step 11 is now you need to go and create, right, the responsibility, right? So you have to log on to Oracle system, the front end, select responsibility, this admin, right, then go to application register. Sorry, you have to register the application, right? And you have to choose application, which I chose the Excel for apps, short name, choose that short name and base top, choose that. Follow the documentation so it makes it easy for uh, support as well. Not Oracle support, but for the Excel for app support. Then step 12 is you have to go to concurrent program executable and you have to fill in the screen. Follow the screen as is. So executable name, XXE4A, short name, XXE4A, and you can just follow that and click on save. All right. Once you have done those two, then it's very easy. Then you use FND to load everything, all everything into the, uh, onto the EBS site. So from the back end, uh, CD Java top common Excel for apps install and you run these two FND load commands which will load everything. All you have to do is change your apps password. Perfect. Right. Then step 14 is all you have to do is assign the responsibility uh, called Excel for apps ones to any user in your organization. So let's go and see there. There we go, there's Excel for apps underscore or for us as sysadmin, but unfortunately we don't have the required, there we go, there's it starting up there. But unfortunately on my PC, I don't have uh, Excel 2010 and the licenses. So that's just a quick demo on how to install XX for apps GL1 product on uh, Oracle EBS 12. Um, thank you for viewing this quick presentation. Hope it assisted you. And if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact me. Thank you and bye-bye.